Hi everybody, welcome back. Today I am doing a haul. Um, I haven't done a haul for a while now. I think December was my first haul. Um, so with Christmas and the New Year and I didn't really do a lot of shopping in the January sales. I don't think I bought barely anything apart from my Glam Glow masks. So I've had um, a little bit of a spend and bought some things that I was really, really wanting. So I thought I'd show you. So let's go straight into the haul. So first of all, I bought myself some Mac bits and pieces. They're still in the boxes. So the first one is, I've seen such a lot about this on YouTube and it is a real cult shade from what I can gather. And it is the Mac Creme Cup. Cream Cup? Creme Cup. Um, and I'd been looking for a really nice like a soft pink that wasn't too sparkly, girly pink. Um, and then I saw this. So just look at that. It's just lovely. So let me swatch it on my hand. So it's a cream sheen. So there you can see it there. And it sort of it looks to be a sort of a blue based pink. Um, and I wanted something with the springtime coming up that was sort of easy to wear. Um, and would go with any particular um, eye look that I decided. So I picked up that from MAC, so I'm really, really pleased with that. Now, everybody and their mother has these, which is the MAC Prolongwear Paint Pot. Is that right? Yeah, Paint Pot. And people have them in either painterly or soft ochre. Um, and I decided, because I'm not really pinky toned, that I'd grab mine in um, painterly. Uh, no, 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 in soft ochre, sorry. Um, so here it is in a really nice um, glass jar. And there it is. Just, um, just a nice shade to put on underneath your eyeshadows. And this definitely was the right choice for me because it really does blend in with my skin tone. I think I might buy the um, painterly one as well. Um, probably for when I'm doing more sort of light eye looks perhaps. So yeah, I was absolutely thrilled with that. So I think the lipstick was 15.50 and I think this was 16.50. If I've got that wrong, I'll put the prices right. And of course, when you order from MAC, you get some little free samples. So I decided on a Prep and Prime because I haven't used um, Prep and Prime before. I've got lots of primers, but I haven't tried this one. So, yeah, looking forward to trying this one out. So, moving on. Um, I have never been um, aware of false eyelashes, really. Only for sort of nights out until I tried, um, what did I buy? Um, Ardell Babies. And they're really, really sort of, sparsely spread out and they just sit on my lash line so nicely and I just love the look of having more lashes because I've got to say I don't know the one thing about having the two pregnancies so close together was I don't know with the stress I was rubbing my eyelashes but my eyelashes used to be really quite long and I never had to wear false lashes but now they're quite short and quite stubby and I've, I've really been enjoying lashes and once I've got the hang of putting them on but I've got some of those big curled tweezer things so I can sort of you know get them on so I picked up a couple of pairs of lashes I bought some red cherry lashes um, and these are number 415 so these are quite long and quite fluffy so um, yeah I'll be uh, hopefully brave enough to wear those and then I'd had a pair of um, Demi Wispies but I'd had to throw them away so I bought another pair of those um, and I bought another pair of babies uh, Ardell babies but I've worn them so they're in the packet over there because I do reuse mine and I've got a really really clever trick for um, washing them because I take them off and wash them straight away because um, I, I think you know they're not cheap lashes um, and I do like to think that I'm going to get one more than one wear out of them. So I thought I might do a little video on how I clean my lashes because I seem to manage to get all the glue, all the mascara, all the grunginess off with this little trick. So I think comment down below if you want to see that video. 
so their lashes now as you know I am doing this oh let me grab this Oop. and back again um, I'm doing this Christina makeup challenge and there's 28 days of doing different looks today is an all matte look um, so I've got all matte eyeshadows and a matte lip if anybody's interested this is Lime Crimes Teddy Bear and on the eyes is just the Revolution Makeup Revolution matte palette just in case you're interested um, so I had to buy a few bits and pieces because um, there's a, a glitter day so I bought some Stargazer Glitter Fix, tiny little pot of Glitter Fix there because I have got some cosmetic glitter but I tend to think that it goes everywhere. So yeah, some Glitter Fix, I just purchased that off eBay. Um, I bought one day's uh, metallic liner or uh, coloured liner and I wanted to do a uh, metallic, um, so I just bought a cheapo collection collection 2000 glam metallics in like a, a plummy colour I'm not very impressed with the with the applicator it's absolute crap um, so yeah I think I'll be putting that on with an eyeliner brush so they were just a few little silly bits that I bought for this um, challenge so moving on again from Beauty Bay I ordered um, this which is the LA Girl Pro Concealer and me being the idiot that I am clicked the wrong colour and I've ended up with creamy beige which as you can see by my fair complexion uh, I look like I've faked hand under my eyes so I'm gonna have to find somebody to give this to or sell it somewhere eBay, Depop, Spock something like that but what an idiot and I was so disappointed as well I was really really disappointed so I have um, ordered one in a much lighter shade now this 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 it's all about this this palette's been out for a good long time um, but I saw somebody using this palette um, and, and these are really my shades they're sort of cool toned taupey shades because this is the on top palette and I love love Zoeva palettes the pigmentation on them is absolutely brilliant the blendability is just great I've got three Zoeva palettes already two I showed you in my last haul and now this one and I'm saving this palette or I bought this palette for a special occasion just look at these shades, let's just swatch a few quick that's stitch by stitch and then handmade oh well you can't see, I've swatched them on the wrong part um, and there's one that's sort of a, a bit holographic is it that one? yes it is oh the lighting isn't going to show this very well but there's some absolutely beautiful shades in there so what I'll do is I'll swatch them and I'll pop them up in the corner. But I'm so pleased with this palette, so pleased. And I was so excited for it to come as well. So yes, ha <laughs> ha, super happy about this. Skincare, skincare, I tried in my last haul. Um, I don't know what that was, but something just fell. Um, La Roche Posay um, day cream and I liked it so much and it didn't break my skin out and it was just such a great moisturiser for underneath primers and foundations that I decided to buy a more um, intense one for the evening so this is the Nutritic Intense Reach um, it's got quite a nice almost smells like you know, like baby skincare, that really subtle sort of fragrance. It smells like that to me, but it is so... It's such a light formulation. Sometimes I tend to find that, you know, night creams are a bit gloopy. And, you know, your face feels just a bit coated. This stuff just literally sinks in. So, and I got it in a sale. I bought it from Essentials, and it was a third off... Um, 
French pharmaceuticals or French skincare. So I'll link that below. Maybe the sale will still be on, but this is impressive. And coming from somebody that has had such skin problems that I really only would use either Estee Lauder skincare or Elemis um, for me to find it. Oh, or um, the aloe vera products, the Sonia range. I found that they were okay. For me to find a range that's much cheaper is a real find for me. So yeah, this stuff, awesome. What else? Oh, oh no, I should probably do this one. Um, so, you know, I love um, natural remedies. Um, absolutely adore sort of aloe vera products. Um, I like stuff in Holland Barrett's. I love essential oils, that sort of thing. So I'd been doing a bit of research because I wanted to make um, a mixing fluid um, to mix with pigments um, and eyeshadows just to really make them pop and um, I found online I'll link it below how to make a mixing medium and it literally is just water and glycerin so I picked up some um, cosmetic grade glycerin which I might do a little video about this as well, I me mean, making my own um, mixing medium and also, you know, sort of, it doesn't work as a fixing spray, but um, it, it just sort of gives you, you can spray it on as a refreshing spray. But then I started looking further into glycerin and there's so many things you can do with this. You can use it as a cleanser, you can use it as a moisturiser, you can use it as a dry skin treatment, you can use it um on your heels for cr uh, cracked heels use it on your hands you can use it on your face as long as it's a really 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 good quality so this one is by buff and butter um i think it was two or three pounds yeah i think that's about right and it's just vegetable glycerin um derived from coconut oil so i bought that so i'll um, link a bit more information about what properties and benefits and a few of the websites that I use for my research that led me to buying this. And last but not least, um, I decided after watching many, many, many reviews on this foundation that I would purchase it. And I'm showing you the back, not the front. So this is the Dior Forever Foundation in the shade 010. So as far as I know, this is the lightest shade. Um, I am going to be doing um, a review on this um, and it's not in its box because I was so eager to get it. I literally grabbed it, chuck the box in the bin and was like, mm, I need to look at this. So I can't really do a first impressions because I have used this because this was one of the first things I bought. But what I will do is um, like a little perhaps makeup tutorial and then give you my thoughts on this foundation. But I, I do love, um, I've got Estee Lauder Double Wear, I adore that foundation. I've got Dior Air Flash, I absolutely adore that foundation as well. Revlon Colour Stay, I find that to be really good. Um, the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte that's a little bit too matte for me but it's certainly got the staying power for me so I do love my foundation so I was really really over the moon when uh, I bought this so that pretty much sums up my haul my goodness I nearly forgot to show you this wow that's bright that's bright um as I said, I'm doing the challenge, makeup challenge. One of the days is a neon day. So this is Stargazer's Eye Dust. Um, and it's very, very pink. So let's take a little look. Let's open it up. Oh, my life. So yeah. I think the day that it's the neon look, I will be putting it on and taking it straight off before anybody sees me. Now, I'm also looking for ideas for things you'd like to see on the channel because um, sometimes you know I, I don't want to keep doing the same old same old all the time um, and my channel's growing really nicely you know I think I'm on about 160 subscribers at the minute I think so yeah 
yeah I'm really happy with that so if you've liked this video please leave your comments because as I always say I like to speak to you um, share like and subscribe and I'll see you soon take care bye